What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I almost tripped and died. Uh, so today we are gonna be shooting kind of the build plans for the S4. Steven's here with us today. Uh, so I'm just gonna basically go over some of the things that I would like to complete this year for this car and this build. It's getting towards the end of it, I would say. Not really, actually. We're probably like halfway, maybe, but there's a good few things in store for this year. But first, cold start. Boom. So they are doing a little construction behind me, so hopefully that doesn't affect kind of the sound of today's video. So going over the list of the plans for the S4, first thing I'm working on right now is actually installing a big brake kit. I don't want to surprise the color for them, but they are a StopTech ST60 kit, and they're the 380 millimeter rotors, so they're going to kind of cover like the entire inner part of the wheel and really fill out the, the inside of it much better than these stock brakes do, as well as sort of helping me for all those track days I plan to do in the future. So the next thing on the list is going to be kind of to go with the big brakes. I really want a Nardo gray or like kind of colored car. I always have and I have a dream color combination with that. So I will be wrapping the car. Um, I don't want to spoil the color for that either, but it's going to be like Lamborghini's version of Nardo Gray. So you can kind of get an idea if you look it up, it's called Grigio Telesto, or some people like to call it Grigio Tendonitis because <laughs> uh, it's just a kind of a weird name. But that's the goal for this car, is to kind of wrap it, big brakes, and to match the color of the brakes, I plan on doing a roll cage, half cage in the back. And what that's gonna look like is it's gonna basically go, cover the B pillar, go all the way around. There's gonna be two bars going back and then uh, some covering the rear doors as well. And I will be able to have a harness bar and probably a track seat in the future. But I will have a harness bar and a fire extinguisher. And basically, it's gonna be powder coated of certain color to match my brakes. And it will look really good from any time you look at the car with the windows down or up, you will be able to see that bright color cage in the back. Right, so once I kind of get these brakes installed. The next plan is to actually find some wheels to fit the big brake kit. I've been having some trouble finding um, companies that offer a good enough wheel that's going to provide clearance for the brakes. They actually fill all the way out here to the end of the spoke and go all the way out towards the barrel of the wheel. So it is kind of difficult to find wheels that will fit. Yeah, so to, to continue with that, um, basically I am still in the market uh, to pick out the wheels that I want to fit over the brakes. There are some that I'm looking at right now. It's kind of hard for me to find a wheel that will fit in the size that I want. They, a lot of people offer a 19 and a, by eight and a half, but I really need a nine and a half wheel because I do plan on running uh, some pretty wide tires on this car uh, between a 265 and a 275. So I do want to make sure that the sidewall on the tire is firm. So I will be sticking with a nine and a half wide wheel. Um, and the offsets are also an issue. A lot of the time, people will go with a lower number offset to push the wheel out and clear those brakes. But in return, you lose the amount of tire you can fit within the wheel well. So I would like to flare this car because obviously that would make it way easier for me to fit wheels on it. Um, but there isn't any flares out there that are kind of in my price range. A lot of them are very expensive and they're all custom to order. So it makes it very difficult for that. But I do hope that I can find a good set of wheels. I am looking into Vorsteiners is the number one possibility. Um, other than that, I'm having some trouble. So if anybody has any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, that would really help out a lot. All right, so the next thing I would have to kind of focus on, being that California is getting a lot more strict on their exhaust laws, uh, my exhaust is absolutely loud. I broke sound at Laguna Seca, so that already tells me that this car is too loud for the street regardless. So I plan on um, kind of looking for a valved exhaust system. That way when I'm driving around town, I can have those valves closed, keep the exhaust quiet, 
uh, and hopefully keep the look that it has right now with the 102 millimeter tips uh, or four inch. It looks really good the way that they are. They barely fit and this side does fall off like once a week, which kind of sucks. But hopefully I can find an exhaust that will definitely keep this car quiet on the streets as well as being able to open it up for the, these track days. You wanna give me a rev clip? Dang, it's kinda dirty. Oh, did he just air up on me? That was cool. There are a few smaller things that I kinda wanna focus on as well. Uh, this ducktail is starting to fade a lot just because it's super old. So I kind of want to have this refinished. I do like it because it's the uh, it's a pretty rare one. It's the Enlius uh, trunk lip, and it doesn't like stick up too high. It's not like the high kick ones that you see a lot. So I would like to get this refinished, re-put on the car. Another small thing is the front splitter does not fit all the way to the bumper. There's a little gap right in here, and I want to fill that and make like a air dam so that air can flow around the outside of the car a lot smoother instead of kind of slowing me down and creating negative drag. And then another small thing is I really over this chrome trim. It looks really good with the mirrors and a lot of the other features like around the car that match it. But I would like to wrap this black when I do get the other color wrap on the car. That way it doesn't contrast too much with the um, chrome. And as well as a little small thing, why is this not opening? Oh, sorry. Can you pop the trunk? Por favor. Is the trunk set up. That was kind of cool. The uh, I kind of want to finish this off. I want to get a smaller tank to fit down in the spare tire hole as well as put the management and the compressor down there. That way I can have my trunk back and use it because right now my sub and my like extra parts are sitting in the back seat and that kind of sucks because I actually have to use a seat belt to hold these things in because they fly around a lot. So that is probably gonna be sooner than the rest of the things. I would say brakes, the airbag setup, wrap, splitter, side skirts. I would also like to thank every individual one of, what am I even saying anymore? I would like to thank every one of you guys for continuously supporting my channel and helping me kind of learn more about this car and support the build. Check me out on Instagram, quattro.tommy. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you all on the next one.